question are you taking garlic for your kidney health Catherine here I have made more than 600 videos talking about ways to improve kidney function here on YouTube and I've spent the best part of the last 10 years studying kidney disease and well there is one food item that's outstanding when it comes to helping the kidneys that's basically above anything else it's garlic now the most incredible thing about garlic is that it can help every single kidney disease patient according to science it can be used to improve basically all the markers of kidney health diabetes hypertension cholesterol and many more we live in a world where the most common antihypertension medicines are now known to cause not just high potassium levels but even kidney damage it's clear that we need a better more natural alternative and garlic is so much more than that garlic is something i personally use every day for my own health and i've studied quite a bit of research about it so today i want to share with you an easy guide for using garlic we will see what aspect of health garlic can help you with we will see how to take it and we will also compare garlic with garlic supplements to see which one is better now, you should also know that garlic only works if you take it in a very specific way. So we will also see briefly how to prepare it. And guys, there is an incredible number of studies proving that garlic can be used to improve a vast number of conditions that can cause kidney damage. Now guys, before we see how to use garlic to control the most common causes of kidney damage, consider liking this video and also subscribing if you already haven't. Question, can you use garlic to control diabetes? Diabetes is the number one cause of kidney disease and garlic can absolutely help with that. In a double-blind placebo-controlled study, garlic was shown to be more effective than metformin in controlling both fasting sugar levels and HbA1c in people with diabetes. Now, this is pretty incredible, so take a look. In this study, HbA1c and sugar levels of patients was measured for 24 weeks. They were given either aged garlic supplements or metformin. The most incredible part is that after 12 and 24 weeks, test subjects taking garlic supplements had way lower HbA1c than those taking metformin. So basically, many of these test subjects were no more considered diabetics after this study because, you know, they now had an HbA1c lower than 6.5% without medications. Oh, thanks to garlic! Other studies confirm these results. Question, can you use garlic to control hypertension? Hypertension is the second leading cause of kidney damage and garlic is extremely effective against hypertension. There are tons of studies confirming that garlic can help. In particular, a recent meta-analysis of 12 trials and 553 hypertensive participants confirmed that garlic can lower systolic and diastolic pressure by an average of 8.3 over 5.5 millimeters of mercury. This is comparable to what you will get from standard antihypertensive medications. But while most antihypertensive medications have been linked to a long list of unwanted effects, including causing two high potassium levels and even kidney damage, garlic has a long list of benefits. Question, what are the proven benefits of garlic? Garlic can also be used to control high cholesterol levels. A meta-analysis confirmed that garlic is effective in reducing total serum cholesterol by 17.6 mg per dl and LDL cholesterol by 9.6 mg per dl in individuals with elevated total cholesterol levels. Garlic is also a powerful source of antioxidants. Garlic supplements have been shown to increase antioxidant enzymes in humans as well as significantly reduce oxidative stress. Remember that oxidative stress is another known cause of kidney damage and today antioxidants are being studied as a possible way of helping with advanced stages of renal problems. Garlic is also a powerful detoxifier. It helps with lead and other heavy metals toxicity. Garlic can also be used to boost your immunity and for athletic performance and 
frankly, for a host of other benefits. There are hundreds of studies proving its effectiveness. So my question still stands, are you using garlic? If not, why not? Please let me know in comment section what you think about this. Question, how to prepare garlic to get the benefits? As I was saying, to fully harness the benefits of garlic, simply adding raw garlic to your meals won't be enough. The key lies in allicin, the active compound responsible for garlic's numerous health benefits. However, allicin isn't naturally present in garlic. Rather, garlic contains allein, an amino acid, and allinase, an enzyme stored separately in different compartments of the garlic clove. It's only when fresh garlic is chopped or crushed at least 10 minutes before consumption that these two ingredients combine to produce allicin, the potent compound that provides garlic with its remarkable properties. So what I do is starting with two medium cloves of garlic, then I peel and mince them. Then I take it before breakfast on an empty stomach. This will maximize some of its properties. However, since our goal is to decrease the dependence on medicines, you may also want to take garlic throughout the day. And you can also take it with food if you want. Now, since garlic has powerful antimicrobial properties, you can prepare it like this and store it in the fridge for up to two weeks. So you don't have to make it every day. But the taste is going to become stronger the more it sits in my experience. So keep that in mind. Question, how can you avoid the unwanted effects of garlic? For some people, taking garlic in a high enough amount daily to keep hypertension or diabetes under control may cause a couple of unwanted effects. First, there is heartburn. If that happens, consider taking garlic on a full stomach instead of empty. Then there is body odor, which can be dealt with, for example, by taking fresh garlic at the same time as a source of fats, such as olive oil. This would increase the bioavailability of allicin, making garlic more powerful and also decreasing this unwanted effect. And also add some parsley. Parsley is rich in chlorophyll, a powerful natural deodorizer for the body. Now the alternative if you don't have time to prepare a garlic like this are supplements. Supplements are the most studied way of taking allicin and well, they work. Question, first garlic versus garlic supplements, which is better? Both fresh garlic and supplements are proven to work. What I will do to decide which one is best for me here is to test them and see how my body reacts. More about this in a moment. Now, what about garlic supplements? There are various garlic supplements to choose from. To find something that works, you will have to look at the label. First, to know how much allicin they contain. Now, a very good brand you can find in the US is Kyolic. Kyolic is what most research uses, so I will start with that. Besides, this product has almost 4,000 reviews on Amazon.com and also it adheres to good manufacturing practices which should ensure your supplement is packaged and labeled properly. The aging process of the garlic also helps cut back on the body odor. Another brand you should be able to trust is Brit Nutrition. They also adhere to good manufacturing practices and they state on the label how much garlic extract equivalent the soft gels contain. It's odorless garlic, so it shouldn't give you body odor problems. But there are also other brands that work. Now, what you should know about these supplements is that they usually contain between 2 and 5 milligrams of allicin per serving. Garlic cloves yield about 2.5 to 4.5 milligrams of allicin per gram of fresh weight when crushed. One fresh garlic clove weighs 2 to 4 grams, so you will need to take several of these tablets per day to get the same effect of a few cloves of garlic. But how much garlic are you supposed to take? To answer this question, you need to use your personal journal. As we have seen, garlic can really help you lowering your pressure and glucose levels naturally and effectively. But keeping these levels down naturally is just half the equation. You also want to decrease your need for medications in order to protect your precious GFR. You will need your nephrologist to follow you in this process and help you decrease your need for antihypertensives and other medicines based on your new improved levels.
To achieve this, you need to use a personal journal. This is a simple tool to keep track of all your markers, pressure, glucose levels, your weight, your meals, if you want, and more. Writing these levels down is a great way to help protecting your kidneys because you will know if what you're doing is working and you can make informed decisions when at your nephrologist's office. The aim will be to get better, naturally. And I'm putting the emphasis on naturally here. This is very important because medications have serious side effects, as I was saying. They lower blood pressure, but they will mess up your serum potassium levels. Yes, ARBs and ACEI are the main reason why people with kidney issues have to face severe dietary restrictions. Now, garlic, on the other hand, has no serious side effects and many benefits. So, if you use garlic to lower your hypertension, it may mean a whole body improvement. A very big step on the road to a better GFR. And garlic can also be efficiently used as a part of a tasty, heart-healthy smoothie. Watch my video up here if you want to try this recipe and this is all for today. Thank you for watching. God bless you all.